And so the first season was pretty much based on your books. Uh, what do we have to look forward to in season two? Season two, we are going off book. Uh, we've burned through most of the plot of the trilogy, and now we're going and expanding into new characters, new situations. And one of the really cool things is it's all a surprise to me as well because we're creating new storylines uh, and getting to continue to play in the world beyond the books. And you know, as, as like a creator of this world, there's nothing more thrilling. Are you going to leverage anything left over from the, the series or everything is going to be completely new? There are a few surprises coming that were not used from the books in the first season. Uh, I'll just say that Adam Hassler, the nomad, who is out beyond the fence exploring what's left of the world, is going to uh, play a big part in what happens in season two. And what was your inspiration for the, for the books? Well, I live in southwest Colorado and there's a little town there called Uray which I would go to on a regular basis. They have these hot springs it's surrounded by these huge mountain walls. And I was walking out one night and looking around at all these beautiful little houses and I heard a telephone ring off in the distance and I heard another one and I just suddenly had this epiphany. What if I was stuck in this town and I couldn't leave? And what if everyone suddenly emerged from their houses and started chasing me? And I thought it was a really a creepy thing to think about, but I'm a writer, that's what I do. And as I started wondering, well, why would I be stuck here? Why would this town be surrounded by cliffs, why wouldn't they let me leave? That led me into the idea of Wayward Pines and, you know, the last town on earth.